stone ladder. I made it myself. Look out! Are you hurt? Of course not. You tore your shirt. What happened? Ricky, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. But look. Oh, well, never mind that. Daddy will be home tomorrow. He'll help fix it. Come on. Oh, that a boy. Now, you hike upstairs and change, but wash up first. Okay. What happened to him? The clubhouse fell down. Oh, that's too bad. Ben will fix it. That reminds me, Ben wants you to call him, San Diego. The number's by the phone. Oh, thank you, Mother. And, Bunny, a boy named uh, Tiger wants you to call him. Thanks, Graham. Mother, when am I going to get a phone of my own? Talk to your father about that. Ben Wellman. Poor Ben. Does he have to make all the decisions around here? Well, he does look after us, that's for sure. Makes us feel good. Hi, darling. Hi, honey. Hey, I got finished sooner than I expected. I think I can be home tonight. Oh, that's great, because Mother has to go home tomorrow. How did you meet him, Carl? I sold him. You're wonderful. Come on home. I'm on my way. Bye, dear. What does it say to notify? Mrs. Alice Wellman. Oh. What's her first name? Alice. Alice? Alice. What have I done to you? Now, Mrs. Wellman, what was your husband's mother's maiden name? Grandma Wellman. I don't know. Shipley, I think. Emma Shipley. Was your husband a veteran? Yes. Do you have his discharge papers? Oh, dear. Do I need them? You may be entitled to an allowance toward the funeral. Well, I can probably find them. Ben takes care of... Ben took care of all our papers. Place of burial. I can't seem to think. What I'm thinking is that if I'd been riding with Ben, Bunny would have to be doing this. How could she? I can hardly do it. Ben looks after everything. Sure, I do. I look after things. That's what fathers are for. <laughs> in delirium. Must be a nice guy. Worried first about his family. Must be having a nightmare about what all this could, could have meant to them. I'm glad he's going to be all right. Oh, yes, he's fine. Yeah, this is Mr. Hanson. You telephoned me. Thanks for coming over. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, don't get up, please. Won't you sit there, Mr. Hanson? Thank you. I was winning. 
What would you say? First, Mr. and Mrs. Waldman, I have a gift for you. Folders for your vital records and information, all in one place. It's easy to assemble the information now. Later on, it'll be difficult, maybe impossible. This way, if anything happens, anyone can make the arrangements easily and properly. Thank you. Now, the matter you called me about, Mr. Wellman, I brought along some pictures and other material to answer your questions about Rose Hills and the many advantages of purchasing your family plot there. And now, before you need it. I thought I was going to need it there for a while. But now, well, you know how it is. When you go to a dentist, your tooth quits hurting. Yes. It does take a certain amount of decisiveness on your part to go ahead and get your tooth fixed when you know you should. Uh, yes. We're all glad you don't need memorial property now. Funny, though, this is one thing in life. The more you don't need it now, the more reason for you to do it now. Hmm? How's that? Let me show you what I mean. You have life insurance? Oh, yes, of course. A wall of protection for your family. Then there are your current assets, your savings, your investments, property. These, too, are a wall of protection. I assume you have a will? Yes, sir. A third wall to protect your loved ones. That's good. But to complete your family protection, there's one wall missing. Your family memorial, all set up and taken care of before time of need. It's... Uh... Something you should do, of course. Oh, you're so right, Mr. Wellman. In fact, every day you don't do it, it's a lean on your other walls of protection. Yes. Ricky's walls lean too much and the whole thing came down. I beg your pardon? I don't think Mr. Hansen means that kind of lean, dear. He means L-I-E-N. Oh. <laughs> yes, I mean a mortgage. As long as you don't have this wall. And someday you're going to have to have it. When you do, like everything else, it's going to cost a lot more than it will now. And the whole cost is going to have to come out of your insurance wall and weaken that, or out of your estate wall and weaken that. Mm-hmm. I'd, uh, I'd never heard that before. Well, you would have heard it, Mr. Wellman, if I could have made that appointment with you when I called well, eight or ten months ago. Was that you? Well, I remembered Rose Hills anyway. I'm glad you're getting a second chance. Well, I'm glad we both are. Not everybody gets a second chance. <laughs> yes, I... I see what you mean. Oh, brother. When I got, well, jolted into doing something about it, I remembered someone did call from Rose Hills. And another reason, I've been to Rose Hills. Oh? I, uh, I raised some roses, strictly amateur. They're beautiful. <laughs> I like having them around. So we've been over to visit the Rose Garden. You have a good rose man out there. One of the best. Like you, I'm an amateur, but I love to wander through those thousands of plants. So many different kinds. Yes, not only the All-America selections, but varieties of great historical value. I know one that was grown for perfume in Syria, 700 years before Christ was born. How did it get here? It was carried to Spain in the time of the Crusades, brought to Mexico by the conquistadores, then up into California when they built the mission. The padres carried their precious cuttings wrapped in burlap inside their church to protect them from the sun. Rose Hill's first cuttings, half a century ago, came direct from one of the missions. Wish I'd known that. Now I want to go back to your gardens again. I picked up some good pointers on growing them, like the volcanic cinders. I've attended pruning demonstrations. In the Golden Pavilion? Yes. We get people from all over the country, some from abroad. No wonder the tricks he can do with those roses. On the way out, like everyone else, I guess, I look off at the park. Beautiful from there. 
Take that view of green lawns stretching away up the hillside to the building with the spires. Memorial Chapel. Did you get up there? No. It's even more impressive close up. A really dramatic architectural treatment, right down to the reflection pools. Like shallow moats around the base. They not only reflect, they induce reflection, as does the refractional glass wall inside with the continuity of life design. This is but one of the several inspiring churches and chapels throughout the park bridging California history from early mission days to the most arresting modern, each with its indoor-outdoor planting, each filling the beholder with a deep sense of abiding peace. And that's what Rose Hills means to me, beauty and tranquility in the permanence of the everlasting hills. I'll admit to a certain amount of prejudice for Rose Hills. Yes, I began to suspect that. <laughs> well, I've been associated with the place for upwards of 20 years. I know something of the foresight and planning that's gone into it. The location, in the very heartland of the Los Angeles, Orange County area, near metropolitan centers, but forever apart from the hustle and bustle. Purposely secluded, yet easily accessible by freeways and boulevards. You know, most all of this land was literally carved out of the original ridges and gullies. Hillsides so steep and rugged that nothing productive would grow on them. We pushed the ridges into the gullies and shaped them into gentle slopes. In other words, we took practically useless land and converted it into this most precious of all earth, this hallowed ground, this memorial park, the largest memorial park in the world. Of course, it's been a big job. The biggest private earth-moving job in history. Comparable with the Panama Canal. And we're still developing. Let me show you something I think is interesting. This is a scene from a movie we made 10 years ago, looking down from Mountain View Lawn. This was the Lake of the Roses then. And now, this is the way it looks today. Part of a small Japanese garden with authentic arching bridge and meditation house. Bonsai trees, and ancient stone lantern, a gift from Japan. Oh, we have vaults and crypts, lawns and terraces, memorials and shrines of many kinds to serve a cosmopolitan clientele, including one of the first mausoleums in the West. We are constantly developing the park, extending the terraces. This means that family memorials at Rose Hills can be perpetuated generation after generation. You know what, honey? That is important. You know, back home, Grandpa and Grandma are in one place, and they had to take Aunt Ida across town. Mm-hmm. We open a section. It's graded to the perfect slope, surveyed into sweeping lawns and terraces with winding roads and walkways, all planned by a famous firm of landscape architects. The same firm has been working with Rose Hills for years. There are big wall maps in the head gardener's office that show exactly where every bush and every tree goes and exactly what kind of bush or tree. Starting years ahead, they plant a new terrace with special ground cover. Leguminous plants, they call them, that take nitrogen out of the air and store it in the roots to help build up the soil. In the meantime, hardy young trees are set out. Years pass, the trees become established. The legumes are plowed under and the ground readied to be seeded to lawn. Then next step, it will begin to look like this. Ultimately, like this, dotted with trees from around the world. Oaks and alders, elms and sequoias, white birch and blue cedars, canary island pines, campers from India, olive trees from the Holy Land, palms, magnolias, and jacarandas. Now, we love trees at Rose Hills. Trees mean different things to different people. Many feel that evergreens, for instance, are symbolic of everlasting life. We have them even in the semi-developed lawns, where you can select now at considerable savings. Including care? Every memorial at Rose Hills includes care, provided by a large endowment fund that's getting bigger every day. What do you think? Whatever you say. Uh, something we've got to face sometime, but well, right now it's... That's right. You have no choice about doing it. But you do have a choice when you do it. You can do it now, tonight, together, 
Or you can wait, and one of you will have to face it alone. Every day you postpone it gives you that much more time to brood about it, knowing that you still have it to do. Do it tonight, and you can forget it. You'll have that wonderful peace of mind that comes from knowing that your family has the financial protection of the fourth wall. It can all be taken care of by filling out a simple one-page agreement. For how much? Well, let's look at the map for availability. Would you like close to a drive or near a tree? How about a tree? Well, how about something like this? Better overlap at about a half an inch. Okay. Now you be careful out here, you two. It's okay now. Dad fixed it. Hey, it looks nice. Ricky's doing fine. He just needed a fourth wall for protection. He'll be all right now. We all will. <laughs> 